What's up, Dean TV? No intro needed. Today, we're doing a reaction to Chris Brown and his allegedly charged and rape and drug charge in another country. And like, comment, and subscribe and join Dean Fan D Nation. Comment below what reaction we do next. And comment below how y'all feel about this and the situation. Like, to be honest, I think this is a lot. And, like, people going to try to attack Chris Brown because it's speculated or alleged. But, you know, I know something. People going to do that. Man, when that's not, when he's, when that's not his character. Like, this person not like that. Like, why are you trying to put produce or like make something like make someone or make someone like they something that they not like we know this man ain't not that only thing anybody could say about him is that he beat it rihanna and you shouldn't even want to bring up that because he learned his lesson from that right right then family so tell people stop bringing up old shit and stuff and trying to use it as an excuse to bring somebody down or tear somebody down because it's pathetic and you need to grow up and it's childish check it out now oh hell fucking no now not my nigga Briz not Briz Breezy now ladies and gentlemen my man Briz Breezy should have took the advice of little baby when he sit on the freestyle man if she don't want fuck I won't make her I don't like bitches with makeup okay what? okay you gotta listen to that song That don't even sound like Chris Brown. Like, it sound like this girl, this chick wants some clout or money. Like, he said, nah, 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 big fella. Nah. I said, nah, I ain't gonna give you no money. But since you said no, I'm gonna say you raped me or beat me. Like, what the fuck? The drug violations sound about some shit he does. I've been hearing for years this thing is on coke. But he's a functioning cokehead. Again, I've heard it. Doesn't mean I believe it, but exactly. People say a lot of things. They don't mean you should believe it. Like people say some things that ain't even really true. Like bring the truth, bring facts. Like if you what, if you're not with that person or near that person, then don't really say nothing about them, cause you're just spreading rumors. Who knows? However. Exactly. Like I, I, I think Chris Brown smoke a little tree tree, but right? Nah. Like he got a daughter and Mojang. Like, I don't think he'll risk that. Like he's not that stupid. Like what the fuck wrong with people nowadays? Really need to rape any goddamn chick. Exactly, <laughs> DJ Academics. Is that within his character? Because even exactly. though he's famous and the girl wanna fuck him and some people have made that statement and that exactly. actual uh defense of him. I mean, uh, R. Kelly was with him fucking famous and Facts. He was supposedly doing some creepy shit. Yup. But R. Kelly is different from Chrissy B. Now, let's get to the details. Apparently, while in Paris, listen, man, there was like some show or some shit like that. Some woman followed him back to like the hotel, and that's where supposedly the assault or the attack happened. They went to the cops. Uh, listen, some of the women, they're coming out to say, yo, we ain't say it was Chris. However, Chris was locked up along with his bodyguard, okay? Now, Wait, we don't know that sounds fishy and sketchy and weird. Hmm. Exactly who the victim supposedly is, who said Chris Brown is the one that took the pussy, or all the details surround it, but he was locked up on suspicion of rape. Now, he did get out. And by the way, when you get locked up overseas, I could give you all the example because I did cover this a lot. Remember when Freddie Gibbs got locked up in like some weird-ass country and he was charged with rape? Yeah. He had to stay over there for a long time fighting that case uh, because, yeah, they wanted to take his freedom and they would not let him go back to the United States. And that's tough. So Chris Brown getting arrested for suspicion of rape. Yes, he's not officially charged with rape, but still big. Now, Chris Brown got out of jail clearly because he got access to his phone. And he had a goddamn response for everybody who thought he was guilty. He said, this bitch lying. Okay. 
Exactly. Like, nobody not going to sit there and let you talk trash and talk shit about them and sell, and sell, sell you. And they you telling them and calling them names, calling them Sunday night. Like, they going to defend themselves. They going to speak up. They going to speak out. Like, okay. You then went on to say, I want to make it perfectly clear this is false and a whole lot of cap. Never. For my daughter and my family... This is so disrespectful, and Facts. it is against Facts. my character and morals. So essentially, he's vehemently denying it. See, exactly. Saying everybody who's making this up or keep claiming that he did some shit, it's a lie. We will get some more details soon. You guys got to hit the subscribe button to stay in tune with what's going on here. However, the details are a little bit interesting. We're hearing that drugs might be involved when drugs are involved. One person's version of the story might not match up with another person's version of the story, even though they're both there. We're also hearing that these women willingly followed him to the hotel room, which maybe again they were up they're up for some type of after party or So it's like if you up for it, then you going then you gonna complain about it after. Like, what type of sense does that make? The fuck? You want some clout there? You want some clout tokens? Late night activities who then say they were up for sex. Now, some people might say, yo, listen, you go back to a nigga's room at a certain time, you with the shits. Again, we all know we do need consent despite what things look like. So, again, we really can't tell. Thank you. If you need consent, shouldn't I do need consent too? Especially if a girl all over him and say, no, I don't want it. But she tried to do it anyways. Like, isn't that like rape? Right? Right? A lot of people feel like Briss is actually getting set up. And we'll actually get to figure that out. But he's definitely pleading his innocent. And he's been released from jail. I'm sure he was quite... Like, the society and the world we live in is retarded, to be honest. Like... He probably has an attorney there. Uh, we haven't heard much. Like, they say the government, the government system, right? This government system is nothing. It's, it's wild. About the victim or the other person charged, which was his bodyguard. We'll find out more details. And when I get that, I'll give it to you. Y'all get in the comments. It's kind of sad, to be honest. Comment below how y'all feel about this. Comment below what y'all think about this. And I'll be reading. I might reply to some. Some. Because some people might be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Now, you know, you know, you know how some people be, they just like the bad people attack people. Like, oh, you support this? No, I didn't say I support this. I'm just saying that it's kind of getting pathetic how people just try to bring people down and try to create a story or create a narrative or manipulate people to believe something that's not true. And it's sad and sick. Box, let's keep it a hundred, man. Y'all think that nigga did it, bro? Keep it a hundred, bro. Give me a couple. Yeah. Like, keep it a hundred, Dean family. Comment below. I'll be reading. Shares on all social medias. Like, let's, uh, like, we, let, let's, let's, like, let's talk. Let's debate. Let's spark a, let's spark, spark a topic. Like, this is something that needs to be talked about. Seriously.